we now come to an interesting interesting topic that is called the earth's magnetism man since ages understands that earth itself contains magnetism in it okay and when a when a magnet is hung freely with the help of a thread then we see whatever disturbances we give to the magnet whatever be the orientation in the initial stage ultimately what happens is it goes and aligns with the north pole so it 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 it, it is the north pole actually aligns with the geographic north of the of the earth okay it is based on this principle that we have devised a magnetic compass and and the the people have been using it to find their ways when they traverse long distances especially in the early days not not now when when you you have the, got the gps facility okay so <clears throat> but but what causes the magnetism has still remained under suspension under under suspense and we still do not know completely what causes this magnetism earlier it was thought that the magnetism is caused is caused by a giant bar magnet that is embedded inside the earth but obviously now that we have the geo exploration techniques we understand that these things are not true <clears throat> okay what is now understood is that the inner core of the earth which is still molten and which is made up of iron and nickel there due to the rotation of the earth the charged particles since they rotate along with the earth what happens they actually they are actually causing a current fine they are causing a current because those charged particles they are moving along with the earth so they cause a current and they cause a circular current like this okay and this current this current will cause a magnetic field like that fine so so this is Uh, what we understand it is not that no studies are being done and at least there are 26 27 factors that come into account when you study the earth's magnetism but since the cause lies so 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 deep within the earth we can only theoretically keep on modifying our theories and that is what we do so the first thing the the first thing that we should understand is that that the earth's magnetism is is thought to be caused by is thought to be caused by caused by the convective current by the convective currents of the molten inner core okay of the molten inner core composed mainly of iron and nickel composed mainly of iron and nickel okay this is called Hmm? Convective. This is called the dynamo effect. Dynamo effect. So, so what happens if this is our Earth? This is our Earth, and we have a, we have the. 
we have the inner core right which is which is molten this mm, maybe i wanted to show you the cross section leave it leave it the inner core whose radius is about 3500 kilometers okay okay that has still not cooled down and and dried up it is still molten yes. this inner core hmm? Hmm? Hmm. it's still under the process of cooling right so so this part and and it is hot right since it's molten iron so its temperature has to be somewhere around 1500 degrees centigrade or maybe above right so what happens that's why when you actually dig down the earth you start the mines they start getting hotter as you start moving in, into the earth you will start feeling hotter and hotter okay because this heat is also being radiated fine through the through the through the through the whole volume of the earth and out out of the earth right so so what happens what happens the earth is rotating how west to east west to east right so, so it is rotating like that, fine, this is my west, this is east, that's why your sun, sun seems to be rising in the east, right, fine, so, so this rotates from west to east and what happens along with it, the whole, the whole center also rotates like a globe, right, it goes on like that. Now, if you maybe think that all those electrons, they are moving like this, then that forms a current like this and that that might cause a field like this and we all will we'll soon see that the field is like that but that is a very very crude kind of explanation because it defies many other things okay so so what what we think is that inside this there is a convection current you understand what convection is you understand what convection is convection is when the matter itself starts moving from one place to another to to, to uh, transfer heat okay so what happens if you if you start heating a um, a pan of water after some time you'll see that that some particles they are rising up and, and you can actually see it in, in light you can see that that the particles rise up the hotter particles they they rise up and and to take its place the 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 heavier the colder particles they take their place and that's how water heats up that's called a convection current that's how actually air also heats up so that at the equator the air heats up it goes up it cools down and it goes there with so much of atmosphere that around 3 to 4 pm there is a heavy heavy downpour and that downpour is called convectional rainfall because it happens due to convection so convection is actually movement of matter from one place to another and many a times they actually transfer heat okay it, it is due to temperature differences itself the first cause itself is that now what happens as it starts rotating uh, so 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 uh, as i told you that one of those factors that the electrons the negatively charged particles they are moving like that and this will this will cause a current like this and a current like this will form a field like this the b like that okay but but it's not so simple but for our at our level you will understand to be something like this and it should have then then been in the in in line with the with the axis of the earth which it is not okay and that's why it is no it is not so simple fine so so this is the method by which the the magnetism is produced in earth at many places you have got the got the mines of permanent magnets or the iron there has got permanently magnetized so there the field will not follow these principles right there you'll suddenly find some other kind of field and these has to be kept in mind by the explorers also that their north which was currently like that if that suddenly 
starts pointing in some other direction that means there is there is something wrong somewhere okay so i said that this was the current now let us try to understand i'll i'll, I'll erase all this and i'll consider this bigger circle to be this bigger sphere which looks like a circle to be let this be there to be the earth okay and what happens in the earth there is the geographical north so i i name it by ng and then there is a geographical south obviously so that is sg fine now <coughs> at an angle of so and this is the axis on which the earth rotates that's why you have named it as geographical north and geographical south fine now what happens is it has been found that that the magnetic axis does not coincide with the geographical axis okay the magnetic axis that does not coincide with the geographical axis and it goes something like this okay so it is about this is a straight line it is about 11.3 degrees to the west of the geographical north okay 11.3 degrees to the west of the geographical north and the exact place the 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 place where we have the north magnetic pole this is termed nm i'll i'll come to that very shortly and this is magnetic south that is located at at 79.7 degree north and 71.8 degree west so this point is 71.4 degree north and 71.79.74 degree north 79.74 79.74 degree north that is the latitude and 71.4 de degree west okay somewhere somewhere in in northern canada northern canada north of canada right okay so so what happens okay and this is tilted to the west this i have named nm now this is the magnetic north now see i made a statement in the beginning in which i said that if i hang if i hang a magnet with a thread it its north pole points towards the geographic north now you should understand it actually does not point to the geographic north exactly it actually points to the magnetic north it points to the magnetic north and and there'll be a confusion there should be a confusion in your mind what is that if this is north pole then how will a north point towards a north it should have repelled actually the south should have pointed towards the north okay please pay attention what happens my north points now i know it does not point towards my geographical north though it is approximately pointing towards the geographical north and we'll see we'll see the trouble involved in that so though it approximately points towards geographical north actually it is pointing towards my magnetic north now a north pole of the magnet should not be pointing at the north pole of another magnet right and you are right this is actually magnetically south pole 
magnet wise it is the south pole then why do i call magnetic north because the north pole of my magnet points towards that okay not because this pole itself is 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 a north pole but because the north pole of my magnet points towards it so i prefer to call it magnetic north pole but it is actually magnetic south so we are talking from our perspective when i name it nm hope you understand that if i am talking if i am saying it is nm i am actually talking from my perspective okay from the perspective of this magnet this is magnetic south but this is how the nomenclature is and you should remember it very well understand it very well even uh, even before remembering fine because many a times it creates a confusion and that confusion is so legitimate this is my magnetic north okay so what happens the the lines the the magnetic lines they actually enter like this enter the earth like this here and how do they come out they come out from this point like that do you see that and obviously obviously these lines they they come all the way like this and they go and form a form a loop they have to and this is not a 2d picture though it looks a 2d because i do, do not have any way out it is actually a globe kind of thing from which the from which the lines are are coming out from all directions so from here from here from here okay it's a 3d figure do we understand that all of us so 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 nm indicates magnetic north because the north pole of our magnet points towards it towards it okay with the perspective of with the perspective of the earth's magnet this point is magnetically a uh, south magnetically a uh, south pole do we get that this is magnetically a south pole fine like that the same logic goes for sm sm is is i'll say is called magnetic it is called magnetic south again due to the same region reason right again due to the same reason magnetic south because the south because the south pole of our magnet points towards it with the pers 